happy to be alive. The survivors of Guatemala's worst volcanic eruption in decades may be homeless, but they're together and receiving care. More than 500 people are in this school in the city of Escuintla, one of 21 shelters around Mount Fuego. Lucia Gomez says she thanks God for having saved all her family, but now she begins to think about their future without a home to go back to. I think it's the president's duty to help us, but we're not sure that will happen because we haven't seen much going on. For example, there hasn't been an official to check to see how many people are here. Her daughter Saida says a member of Guatemala's disaster agency helped all her family get together in this shelter, but now she feels they're on their own. We feel bad because the government is not giving us any answers about our future. Homes, farms and animals were destroyed here. The government is promising $34 million to rebuild. The government has a plan and a budget to provide 400 new homes. The mayor of Esquintla says they are working non-stop to accommodate more homeless people. The mayor says this shelter will be ready in three days. It will be two large tents. Each one will house 300 people. But it is unclear when and where the victims will have a home. Officials say they have plans to provide proper housing for the victims. But critics say the government is inefficient. They don't trust the government to take care of the victims in the long run. And they want the president to resign. After the tragic mudslide two years ago, the government still hasn't given any homes to those who lost theirs. And it doesn't look as if they'll be getting one soon. For now, private donors and volunteers are helping to fill the gap in aid. The survivors are looking to the government to secure their futures. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Escuintla, Guatemala.